what's going on YouTube I have been here for a complaint on that fan two times in the last four months that it is not working every time I come here I check it and it's fine today I figured I was gonna catch it and it was fine but it's not you can hear it trying to start <clears throat> of course not no switch Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've been here twice on this uh, exhaust fan. Both times, everything's tested out fine. Amps, capacitor, rotation, everything's tested out fine. So today it actually is not working. So I just checked the capacitor. Capacitor is at 15 microfarads. The, the motor calls for 15. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and right now, as soon as I flip this switch, you can hear that motor tried to start. It's locked up. Turn it. You can see that it's turning. And this motor's just shot. Alright, check voltage. If we got, um, I wonder what this is, a 208 motor? Power amps. Uh, volt 115. So if you got 115 coming to it, capacitor's good. I'm gonna call it a bad motor. All right. Good morning again. <clears throat> so we're gonna swap that motor out. Picked up the motor. Thursday morning, 7 a.m. It's a beautiful day be changing out a motor they did not approve this job yesterday because of uh, overtime so I told them all right I'll be back first thing so you have to take these four off right here so I got all those four it's coming loose uh, what is this? I've never worked on one of these before but I'll get it done it out so it, it is just these these four screws right here well four bolts you take those four nuts off right here and this whole thing just pulls up and there's your, your fan blade or exhaust whatever you want to call it there it goes so now we can actually X is the set screw. Looks like it has two of them. And we're going slowly but surely. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. That's probably the part where I'm going to bite my, you know, even make make myself eat my own words. I should have never said it was going to be easy. Never. This set screws with this Allen wrench. It's cold weather. It's not a horrible day, man. Not a horrible day. Probably in the high 30s, low 40s or so. Beautiful day, man. Beautiful day. Huh? Got everything back on. Pit of death. Alright, so we're just mount this back up in there, uh, wire the motor up, make sure it's running, Where is it? There you are. that rotation, and get it to go outward, so, yeah, get back in, and so, let me show you what happened here in the last, um, the last two hours or so um 
as you know we took that motor out that's the old one put the new one in of course it's not in right now right um started it up pulling lock rotor amps and uh i would hand start the blade and it would um it would turn full speed it was getting nice there but it was pulling eight amps um it was pulling eight amps at full load so i checked the capacitor capacitor's good everything's good motor was just locked up enough to where um you, you the motor wouldn't turn by itself but you could turn it with your hand so i had to drive 45 minutes to granger to get another motor and this one is in a lot better shape so this one you can freely turn it the other one you could i mean you have to like grab it like this and just enough man i mean very questionable but bad motor out the box so started at 7 i was done by 8 45 or so it is 11 now and i'm about to start putting this back together so sometimes shit happens you get a bad bad motor out the box you get a bad part out the box doesn't matter so here we go gotta install it one more time and we'll see hopefully this one works out so this is back on a lot better the second time and this motor spins freely this one feels a lot better so lesson learned gents open the boxes at the parts house take a look at it i normally do but to, this was that one time that i didn't and it came back to bite me in the ass so open them up at the parts house in front of the guy or girl and say i'm just gonna give it a quick look through i want to make sure i'm getting the right motor and it's not damaged so Anyways, shove that baby back in. These are the only four bolts that need to be removed. Yeah, I took these off. You don't need to take those off. So we can turn that freely down here. No rubbing. Oh damn, what the hell? What the hell is that? I'm spinning freely now. Oh wait, there it is. What oh, the hell, dude? Did they just not my day or what? I'm down there walking. I wonder what the hell's going on in here. See, it's blocking up right there. What the hell? Where's it hit? Gotta pick it up back out again. a little off balance or so but we'll talk to him about it other than that i am frustrated as hell with this job simple hour and a half two hour job turned into half a day because of a dead motor so yeah i understand shit happens but why <laughs> anyways he's running i'm just gonna tidy up that ground and um That'll be it for this job. I am ready to get out of here. So thanks for watching everybody and we will see you on the next one.